Hey y'all, welcome back to Cooking with Coop. Tonight we're going to fix us some ham steak. Yes, boys. You! What? You ain't never heard of ham steak? Boys, I'm telling you what. I feel sorry for you. But we're going to fix it. You can buy it right here. We got us a, a ham steak already opened up. And here's what we're going to do. It don't, it's already cooked. We just going to flavor it by searing it here in this skillet a little bit. And uh, we're going to put us some bacon grease in this skillet because you know when we put bacon grease in there, it sure will make our food happy. Yes, and you want happy food. You don't want grumpy food. Grumpy food will make you sick. All right, so then we're just going to slosh this around. You know how we do it around here in the coop kitchen. We're just going to slosh it around a little bit, get it covered as best we can. I want a little more of that. If a little bit is good, a whole lot's better. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. We want enough of it in there so that when we slosh it around, it covers up the skillet because we're going to use all the skillet on this. There we go. See how that's doing now? Oh, yeah. Leaves a little puddle of it in there. Remember, when we cook it in a skillet, especially meat, we put cold meat in a hot skillet. We want it to sizzle. So let's check it. Oh yeah, that's good. Now we're gonna cut that back to medium high. We was on wide open, got that fire up all the way. And uh, what we got here is uh, one of these uh, ham steaks. And I'm telling you, it is so good. Now we don't wanna get all the water in there, so I'm gonna open this up here over the sink and just take it out with my hand like this. We're gonna let that go right down in the sink like this so we don't make a mess nowhere. But ooh, ladies, look at that. We're going right in the pan, watch this. There we go. So what you do is you let that go right there about four minutes, and then you're gonna flop it over on the other side. Now, once you put it in there, don't touch it. Leave it alone, okay? It's already got salt on it. If you wanna put a little pepper on it, you can if you want to, but we don't like it like that around here. We just gonna let it go for about four minutes. And uh, I like to fool with it with the grabbers. I got my grabbers here. I like using the grabber to just peek at it. So we just gonna leave it here. We gonna put that up maybe a little bit more toward high. We like to cook things fast around here. Yes, we do. We just gonna start heating them soup beans up. And I tell you what, done and made this. Look at that cornbread. So we gonna have ham, steak, soup, beans, onions, and this here cornbread. Yeah, I know it. You wished you was here. Ooh yeah. Looking good, look. It ain't stuck in that pan. No, why? Cause we put bacon grease in there. Make that thing happy. That's about the happiest ham steak that you ever gonna see right there. I'm telling you it is. Listen at it. I'm so happy you can hear it singing, can't you? So see, the secret to this <laughs> is, is you cooking a ham in bacon grease. <laughs> it's all from the same animal, you see. So they, they get along real good that way. Yes, that's how we work it. Now, what we need to do, we need to keep this skillet moved around a little bit. Hey, I'll tell you what, while we're waiting on this, I need you to do something for me. I want you to like and subscribe my channel. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and hit the bell notification. That way, every time I post a new video, you will get a notification of it. And I know you don't want to miss a single episode of Cook Up With Coop. No, you don't. Ooh, don't that sound good? Now we're going to turn this thing over. We grab it with that. Ooh, oh, my, my, my. Look at the color on that. Shoot, buddy. I'm telling you what. Yes, sir. That is looking good right there. We're going to let that go about three or four minutes until it gets about that same color on the other side. And then when we're done with that, we're going to move it off and we're going to make our gravy to go on. Very easy way to make gravy. I'm going to show you how in just a minute. All right, y'all. It's been about three minutes or so here. But more importantly, it's just you got to watch it. Make sure it gets about the same color. You don't want it to go black on you. If it's black, it's burnt. If it's burnt, ain't nobody want to eat it. I found that out about the second time I cooked anything. All right? So we're going to get us a nice nice plate here to put it off on. And, and we're going to flip it over so you can see what she looks like. Now here's the reveal. 
Ooh -wee. Look at that. My land. Safe. We're going to put it right down here. Keep it warm. We're going to make some butter gravy. All right. We're going to put this in here. We're going to cut this up on high. Cut that far up on high. Don't need a whole bunch. That might be enough right there. All right. Then we're going to put in some self-rising flour. I like to use self-rising flour. We're going to put a heaping teaspoon, a tablespoon. <laughs> heaping tablespoon right in here. When I say heaping, that's exactly what I mean. That right there. All right. There we go. Yes. Now. Nah. We will scrape up some of this ham stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's all right. Scrub it around a little bit. I'm not scrubbing it hard. I'm just kind of getting some of that ham up there. And we're going to let this brown up. We'll let this flour brown up some. So this is where you can add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We use the whole box here. You're just going to put a little, not much, see that? That wasn't much. What are you, what are you, what are you owing about? That wasn't much. We're going to put some pepper on here. Pepper is what really makes gravy good. All right, so we're going to put that up there. All right. Woo, I wish you could smell this. Yes, boy, you put that pepper on there, it's like, bam! <laughs> it's gravy. Yes, I am. I'm gravy now. We like it kind of browny brown, brown, brown around here. So we're going to let this brown up real good. We're going to put this back up on high because we're fixing to throw the milk to it. One thing about using a great big old skillet like this, uh, sometimes things get spread out on you and it gets dry in some areas and you just gotta work with it and be careful with it. And I'm gonna tell you once you get once you get used to using cast iron skillet, you'll throw all that other shitty mess away. Cause this right here is the best way to cook meat and gravies and stuff like that right here in this cast iron. Yes sir. We're gonna pour the milk in here. Let's start with about that much. How much is that? That much? I don't know. Gravy's one of them things. I mean, you can get you a recipe if you want one, but gravy's kind of one of them things that you just have to kind of sight and sound and feel and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna let it boil up here. Oh yeah. See how it turns right brown. All right. Put it back over that fire good. All right. She's getting a little bit thick on us, so what we can do, we can just pour us a little more milk in there. This is ham steak gravy. Now, some people like that, some people don't. But we like it around here. Now, if you've watched them bubbles coming up on it, you can see that that's some good, nice brown gravy. All right, now we're gonna pour it off. So we do that all at one time and all real quick like with a pot holder, cause I like my hands, don't wanna burn them up in there nothing. So I'm just gonna pour that off like that. And if you wanna scrape a little more out of there, you can do that if you want. See, that pan ain't messed up. That, that pan ain't messed up at all. You need to pour it out a little more. There you go. That's the way it is. Ooh I'm telling you now right there. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Some kind of good it is. All right, y'all, I know you wished you were here to eat supper with us. We got our cornbread, soup, beans, and onions, and our ham, steak, and gravy. Let's try this ham, steak, and gravy a little bit. We take that, take that right there and get us a little bit of this gravy. Look at that right there. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Whew. I'm telling you what, that is absolutely great. Well, I thank you for spending some time with me in Cooking with Coop Kitchen. I hope you learned how to do something today that can help make you people happy. I know all this food right here is happy because it's been in cast iron and grease. <laughs> well, y'all have a great day. I love y'all. Bye-bye. You're cooking ham in bacon grease. They're both from the pool. I usually just pour it in with the gallon jug.
Let's just do that. Move base. Well, you make up your mind. Yeah. Maybe you should wear a hair net. Hair net, my high end. I think I'm being your bullying. Oh. Good. Cute way to stir stuff. This is how you stir them beans right there. See that? Don't need no spoon. Spoon it for fish. You gotta stir it with a spoon. You a mama's boy. That's what I say. Now, where was I? Trying to get a plate out here. I gave you that big plate right Something for the ham to go on. Oh. Don't break my dishes. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it and I'm gonna laugh at you when you cry about it. <laughs> that milk like just magically appeared on the counter. <laughs> that milk what? Magically appeared on the counter. Whoop! It's called it's a magic counter. It knows what I need before I need it. Someone will notice that. I don't care if they notice that.